It's another beautiful day once again and welcome back to Dexter's World Channel. happy today because we already have transferred our rabbits and it's been my problem when they stayed that cage inside the chicken coop because they are eating their nylon screen and it really caused a big damage to the flooring of the housing and now they are all here and you can see that they are really very relaxed I have observed them that they have gained their weight and they are so comfortable you know, roaming around and they have enjoyed really their big space. Allow me to stress some points today about rabbitry. Many have expressed opinion about how do we clean this one because their urine might cause their disease. In my observation as a rabbit keeper for how many years, it's been my observation that if they are placed on the ground, their urine will be absorbed by the soil. And this urine of these rabbits contains high in ammonia and nitrogen. And these chemicals will shy away the ants and other insects. That is why they are really very safe if they are placed in the ground because these ants and other predators will not stay here because of the odor. And another thing that I have experienced about these rabbits is the fact that when they are not stressed, because if you are going to put them on a cage which is very small for them, they will really become stressed and they will have a problem. Surely they will really have a problem about their pregnancy and the delivery of the babies. Sometimes if you allow them to deliver their babies inside the small cage, they will eat all their babies because they are so stressed inside. So that's one of the factors that I have observed in this rabbit keeping. So I decided to finally bring these rabbits on the ground. We will allow them to deliver their babies here. You will see that each of these cages have at least three, four or five rabbits. And this is what I learned from them. They are highly territorial. So once they are already settled in one place, they will no longer transfer. You will see over here that we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight female rabbits. And they are very relaxed and they are drinking their early morning probiotics. Well, as you know, in the last video that we have made, we made mention about the importance of culturing our probiotics and this is intended mainly for our chicken but I have noticed that these probiotics are also good for our rabbits and in fact I already have introduced these probiotics as part of their diet
we are actually having 40 dose and 20 bucks here. We expect that how many months from now, we're gonna be able to produce hundreds, if not thousands of these kits. So this is really very exciting because this is already a massive way of producing kits of these rabbits. And maybe you will have a concern about our wallings. Well, we temporarily use the nets. This is not the final walling yet. And in fact, I am scheduled to do some finishing touches over here so that they will not scratch and dig and damage this uh, hollow blocks. In my experience, they are really capable of destroying these hollow blocks and can dig a hole or make a hole and then escape. So that's why we have to make finishing touches over this hatch. Another thing is that the diet. Well, the diet of these rabbits could not be made purely on pellets. Meaning, you cannot just give pure pellets for these rabbits. Because they are known to be grass eaters. And what's good about this place, as what I have mentioned in the past video, is the fact that this is a place where grasses can just easily grow. All these grasses will just sprout everywhere. So no problem about the food that these rabbits will eat. Aside from the pellet, we're always giving them this cover crops and all kinds of grass that can be found here. These are not picky animals. They will eat everything. You can name it, they will eat banana leaves, guava leaves, ipil ipil leaves, this cover crop, everything that we can collect or gather from this farm. Another thing that I would like to discuss about these rabbits, many have experience about cannibalism. Cannibalism is when the doe will eat their babies. That's a natural occurrence, especially if the rabbit and the owner have no good relationship. This relationship is really very important, especially during the time when the doe will deliver babies. There are really times that we have to get the babies because of some issues, maybe because of the ants, maybe one of the babies has died and you have to get these babies to save the others. And if you will disturb, the mother will certainly eat the babies if the caretaker has no good relationship, meaning that they are not tame. So from time to time, it's really very important to immune them with the human smell, meaning we have to touch them from time to time because the moment we're gonna get the babies, they will not anymore sense a strange odor. So it will just become natural for them. So it will not result on cannibalism. I am looking at raising these rabbits very naturally. Meaning that we will not force them to become pregnant. We will just leave them as it is. Meaning that they can decide when they're gonna get pregnant or when they're gonna deliver their babies. The breeding process in order to achieve the natural breeding is just to put the male rabbits, meaning the box, here in these cages we will allow them to roam around and look for some partners and after that we will place these male rabbits which is called the box in their cages so all the male rabbits the those are the ones that will be allowed to stay here and the, the box will be will be put in the cage because if we will put them together all the time the chances are these female rabbits will become damaged because the, the box will continuously pursue and breed them even when they are already pregnant. There's a good news because some of these chickens now are laying eggs. Well, they are laying eggs, not every day, randomly, but I am very hopeful that how many days from now, they're gonna produce eggs every day. And you will see that I made the fence high 
because this chicken now are really capable of flying high and will escape from this area. So this is it. We already have collected some eggs and yesterday we have collected nine eggs plus two eggs this morning it's all in all 11 eggs so far that is why i am really very positive that the system of our feeding is really doing great because 60 percent of their diet came from the vegetables these vegetables can just be gathered at the garbage portion in our markets so this is free and this is very economical when we wake hear the birds and see the sun Side by side our fears are done All the good times just begun So guys I hope this will encourage you to do an alternative farming because I believe that if there is a way for us to survive after this pandemic is to go on farming We can do everything in order to address the issues on food security. Well, these rabbits have been known to have good meats and that will address now the issues about the food because I know that we experience global recession because of this pandemic. So you can start your own if you are into farming. Maybe you can try this rabbitry and just follow the methods or the, the tips that I have revealed in our previous videos about rabbits and you will really become successful so thank you guys for watching i hope you will continue to like and share our videos and if you are new just don't hesitate to subscribe and hit that notification bell and choose to be notified in all the videos that we are going to upload in the future so thank you for watching only here at dexter's world Yeah.